Hey guys, I'm Usuka23. Welcome back to Golden Sun. Last time we explored part of Soul Sanctum. Today we'll go deeper into the Sanctum and see if we can find stuff. So we're gonna have a couple battles here. Again. I see your car last time we put a jewel into an eye socket and it opened up a new passage which is over towards our left. And oops, so we're just gonna go. I picked up a herb in that last battle, I think. Pick up items are based on luckiness. Oh look, a purple room. Let's have a look and see what this room is all about. Oh yeah, statues, stuff there. And we have talking. What's wrong, Graydon? Hmm. Those two said there were was a hidden passage leading deeper into the sanctum. I've been here many times, and I've always thought it was looked strange. I'd always imagined Soul Sanctum would be different somehow. What do you mean? <clears throat> Soul Sanctum was built in honor of the sun. There ought to be something here to reflect that. I was always puzzled why there wasn't. If there is a hidden, hidden passage, then maybe it leads to... Well, let's see if we can find it. Yes. I think he's serious. Should we help him, Isaac? Yeah. But it's too dangerous for us to split up. We should stick together. Yeah, we'll stick together. It wouldn't be a party if it was just one. So, this is the wrong way. There's nothing here. Anytime you see, like, dotted lines on the ground, usually you can, there's an object to push or pull. So, a battle! So we're gonna keep fighting. Yeah, go Jenna. Go Garrett. Pretty soon we'll be start leveling up too. We're almost, we're very close. Go on up. We wanna go right, because left is basically the same way, except it's not straight. This is like my fifth, maybe seventh attempt at recording. Um, the first few that I totally botched everything. I you know, talked and it made no sense. Not even to me, so why would I put that there? And another time there was a barking dog from next door, a little puppy. You want to go left here. And the puppy kept barking and he's right by my window. So, he, she, I don't know what it is. I'm going to just use synergy for all I can. Yay, Isaac is now level 2 Squire, and I learned Squire's Quake. I finally have an attack that's better than Cure, which is only a healing thing. Like I said, you want to go left here because there is a chest, and in said chest is a jewel. We do not want to come back. Backtracking is not something I like to do. Besides wasting battles and your time. And we're gonna test out Quake. So it does. Quake, like I said, isn't smooth. Well, has an orange dot, so you have to assume it's an earth move, which it is. And oh my god, four on three, that's not fair. Creighton, come out. Bored them to death with teachings. No. That's not right. So we're gonna use Quake. Now See this battle here, I have PP of 14 for Isaac. Just watch now when the next battle comes up. I'll explain his name. Oh, Garrett is now a level 2 guard. And it increases everything, and we got coins. So yes, like I said, PP in the next battle, which is coming up, like, any second now. Bound to be. There we go. See, Isaac's PP was from 14 now to 18. When you start walking, you actually recover your PP that way. So, like, in the beginning, I said it's not like it has limits, but it is reusable once you, over time. Oh, Jen has a flame user level 2. Sweet. Leveling all up all, leveling up all over the place. <clears throat> Ooh, another room. Statues in purple. 
More statues. Hmm, doesn't look like we can reach them from here. Perhaps synergy is the key. Isaac, try using your synergy. Now, there's two ways to use synergy. You use A, B, and start or in menu and click Isaac and click the move. Synergy access the one we're trying to do. And you just move it left to right and you move it. But there's an easier way to um, set up so you can not go through all the menus. And I'll show that because I have to move another statue. I'm not moving all those statues, I'm only moving the ones that I have to. So we'll go all the way over here, and what you do is you click it's energy. It's here and it says set to L or set to R. You hit L or R, and then you hit A, and then it sets it. So all you do is hit L or R, whatever one you set it to, and there you go. It's energy set up. Done. No more menu sifting. Only until you have to uh, switch them out. So you go over here, and here is a herb, which will go to Isaac because he's in, he's the party leader. I'm going to give Garrett this herb, because he's low on energy. So we'll keep on walking. I see the purple room up top. Oh, a ghost! Hi, Casper. So we'll use Quake, and we'll use Flare, and we'll use Flare. I'm just using Sanity like something's fierce for the. I don't mind. This is just, again, basic training um, level. This is it, we found it! Clearly, this is the mark of the sun, the heart of soul sanctum. It's just as I imagined, which means those two were right. I don't know what that word was. They said it was true, they must have been... They were thieves that came to rob, rob the sanctum. Better hurry and tell everyone in the village. Creighton, what's the matter? <laughs> You're so close. Close to what? We've come all this way to the heart of Soul Sanctum to turn our backs and leave now. Would be ludicrous. But actually, once we leave, you know, um. We'll get further on in this once we believe we can never come back here. So this is a one-shot deal dungeon. So we're going to go further and explore the Sanctum. Even further. Really? We'll just go a little bit further. Good, it's decided. Let's go. So we'll go in the next room. And this music, I really like this music. Which is now posted. What's this room? There's a moon in the center. It's Luna. This must symbolize night. I think these two rooms are connected somehow. Yeah. Luna and Soul. These two rooms must hide a secret. Not sure I'll look a bit further. Aurora Borealis. Right there. So we'll go on up to the next level. And I'm gonna go down here. This is a load, a room loaded with all this energy. So we're going to replenish my synergy with this purple crystal. So you use it, and it restores your synergy, and it disappears. It outlived its usefulness. So we're gonna go on up. Now remember, I'm going over here too. Remember three years ago when there was the storm and the boulders fell and everything. Well, I see what happens. <laughs> Why it happened? This is why it happened. Yeah, we found something. Yes, this is a trap. So we do. And if we keep going, doing what we're doing doing what we're doing, uh, we'll have a wicked repeat of three years ago. So Creighton told us to stop, and we pushed, both, uh, pushed the statue back. Yes, it is a very interesting mechanism, and I don't know how we landed over there, like we were on the bottom. Whatever. Yeah. I don't want to see thunder, because it might attack me and get electrocuted. 
So I just want to show that off. Because I know the right thing to do, I just didn't do it right away. Yes, there are... I don't know who did it, but they must have hidden something very important. Perhaps they've hidden the key to alchemy itself. Should I tell you more? Oh, sure. I don't know why I said yes there. <laughs> There's more talking. Sheesh, another mystery. I'll keep checking the lunar room. You continue exploring the sanctum. My intuitions tell me the light must be key to the secret. We should test it. The light. Isaac, let's see if we can figure it out ourselves. Because we're only three people, and remember, th three years ago, there's a whole colony of um, minorities and Zadaroses that didn't couldn't figure this out, and almost killed a whole town, a village. See, I keep saying town. I don't know why, but we're only 17. We can figure this out. Three 17-year-olds, well, almost 17-year-olds. Okay, so we've. Like creates a hole. So we'll use our R and we'll just pull that towards us. And oh, something clicked. So we'll go over here and now we can push these over here. So what basically what we did is we disarmed the trap, so no more no more thunder and lightning bolts. Lightning bolt? Yeah. I was thinking thunderbolt, and I'm like, wait now. Thunder doesn't. Thunder's a noise. That's Pokemon for you. I got everything screwed up. Thunderbolt? No, it's lightning bolt. But whatever. You can't change classic stuff like that now. Where'd that hole come from? Well, we moved statues into. Light and light created two beams, and light can now create holes. So, careful. <laughs> Those statues was the trap. The other statues were the same trap. That's basically what I said in a nutshell like two seconds ago. Rolls eyes. Okay. He's gonna go back down. And we're just going to finish up and. Push these over here. So we're turning Luna into Sol. Why? I don't know. Well, I actually do know why, but... I'm going to use Synergy here, just to show off again. So we, su we successfully turned Luna into Sol. So now we'll go back down. And... Luna is now Sol. But what else changed? Something must have changed. And the light is gone. See that? The light, the Aurora Borealis is gone. Somewhere something must have changed. We must find it. So if you go over... Yeah, see, I'm just showing off. Here. Back to the cool music again. Sol changed to Luna. And there's a beam of light. pointing at the wall. So you hit A on that, it opens up a door. Oh, this has to be it! Let's go, Isaac! So, next time in Golden Sun, we're going to go through that light and see what happens. I'm Usuka23, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.